home. Welcome guys to my third vlog. You know, I felt like I made a mistake in the second vlog. I didn't really do anything that was really exciting or I didn't eat anywhere. I didn't do anything sort of vlog worthy. But I guess I'm still learning. And uh, so where I'm headed today is actually, so I'm just gonna be um, actually eating at the restaurant that I work at because I'm gonna go have a breakfast and then I also have to do a service exam which is like the promotion to go from a food runner to a server which uh, so I can study prepare myself for the exam and also I can get myself something to eat in the mornings and see that that's a telehandler see that that's a telehandler I have a license to drive that you know pretty cool but yeah no longer in construction looking to make a break in restaurants yeah so I'm here experiencing Dishoom the breakfast menu you know I've been around spent a lot of time working here so it feels I haven't had much time to experience exactly what service we're providing so I'm here in the morning and it's a nice atmosphere um, and there's a lot of options in the menu so um, I've got the breakfast menu here and what I'm gonna go for is the what I'm going for is the wrestler's man and also the kejwa you know um, it's quite a heavy meal but I think um, I'm going to be doing a lot of studying today for the service exam so I need a lot of energy and uh, so yeah, should be good but I'm trying to do that restaurant vlog yeah, and then when I start my restaurant I'll be like, yeah, yeah this is this that's how I was like, today is like a special day in my day off yeah, yeah like, uh, Naan. So it's got bacon, sausage, egg with some chili jam and also like cream cheese. It's quite delicious. I personally think it's my favorite sort of thing on the menu. So that's what I'm having today. Yeah. Yes, so I had a nice filling breakfast at Dishoom. Got the rest is none which I really enjoyed but when the chemo period I was already full so I don't think I really gave the dish any justice by also ordering too much food but we got a staff discount of 50% which is good and I mean it's good to see experience what the customers are seeing and how they're experiencing the restaurant and the uh, and having the opposing view of behind the scenes and how things are done it's pretty interesting and uh, yeah um, there's a lot that goes in in order to create a successful restaurant I'm just here, you know, recording just to get some clips for you. And uh, you see the Matrix. See, the Matrix is trying to stop me. They're trying to stop me from record. All I'm showing is my day, you know, as in going to the idea store, doing some self improvement, you know. But then I'm going to be hitting my work after. So um, that's that. spending the rest of my day just studying for the service exam there's a lot of allergies and ingredients of each dish I need to learn uh, in order to give me 
access to one week of training as a server. And once I'm comfortable, I'll be a fully fledged server and I will learn a, a lot of the skills about customer service skills, how to set the table. Like it's very important skill. So it'll be a very good step of realizing my goal of my own restaurant as in learning how to increase my customer service skills and how I can describe the dishes, uh, ensure I give the guests a, an amazing experience. And yeah, uh, obviously changing roles will be important to learn the different aspects of the business. So um, yeah, so I'm just here studying, you know, and I'll be ready to take the test. Yeah. Anyways, keep you guys updated. Let you know how the test goes, if I pass, or we'll see how things go. So I've actually had the day off, so I thought, why don't I explore the city a little bit more? So as you can see behind me, you've got the gherkin. It's pretty. It's a pretty cool building. Yeah, there's a lot to explore here in London. It's like its own sort of ecosystem. Like I've been around the whole country from down in Cornwall to up in Scotland. Uh, there's no place like this. It's a very multicultural, cosmopolitan place where there's a lot of wealth, which I love. You know, I love, I love being around wealthy places, wealthy settings, big buildings, people making money. It's my kind of area. For me, uh, I've got to do something a little bit more long term. I've got to think more long term and just plan my days because I'm in my 20s right now and my 20s can't be revisited. Um, only everything that I learned in my 20s, I have to use in my 30s and set myself up for a good life, you know? Not wasting time, not partying, even though I did party a lot, but now it's all cutting out. No partying, no drinking, no smoking, just fully focused on the grind and making things happen, yeah? Catch you in a bit. Quick staff meal. Quick staff meal before I start work, you know? Usually like to come in an hour early just so I can read. I've got my Kindle here so I can read and like get, get something to eat. Yeah. That's it.